alive. There we go. It's muted. Here we go. Okay, we're gonna go. As I raised my head from the e handbook with a heavy sigh, I saw the dark courtyard of the hotel. I sat on the beach, paralyzed with thought. Is he really gonna make us do this? There's no way I could believe that this was now my reality. Even so, this was undeniably real. No matter how much I didn't want to believe it, the moment I experienced and developed for myself it became undeniably real. This is a reality that could not be more different from my usual daily life. School, studying, exams, job hunting, going for rocks, going to school, riding the train, lectures. That kind of daily life is no longer mine. Also, I looked up. I saw stars glimmering in the night, covering the sky like a sheet. They looked like as if they were about to fall into my hands like fluttering snow. For the first time since I arrived at this island, instead of the night sky I grew accustomed to, I saw a night sky that was far too beautiful. As I stared blankly into the night sky, I suddenly imagined those words in my mind. The student who murders their classmates will be able to leave this island. When we were forced to hear those words, we just stood there silently. Nobody said a word, and eventually, everyone scattered and vanished. And it led straight on to the first night, a night so beautiful it enchanted me. And yet, my heart was horribly upset. That kind of beauty was definitely far different than my usual daily life. Chapter 1 Executive Committee has an announcement to make. It is now 10 p.m. Nighttime can be confusing. If you're out at night and accidentally meet a killer, then it sucks to be you. But if you're worried about that and can't sleep, I've prepared a cottage on the hotel grounds for each of you. Every single one of you, please feel free to rest in your own rooms. However, before you go to bed, I strongly recommend you lock your doors. You never know who might be planning to kill you. <laughs> bye bye. Damn, that's ominous. A cottage, huh? Little butterflies and shit floating around. Hotel is old building. I guess I'll head over to the college right now. Oh, fine, I won't look at that. The only one that's flaking, so I can assume this one is mine. Yeah. Damn it! As soon as I entered the couch, I collapsed into the bed. What the hell? As I screamed silently to myself, I buried my head in my arms. I didn't even want to see anyone anymore, I just wanted to be alone forever. I have nobody I can trust, because even if I wanted to trust them, I don't know anything about them yet. The only person I can trust is myself, no. Even I don't believe that. In truth, after I was forced to hear that dumb rule you can't leave unless you kill someone, I realized there's a part of me that really wants to get off this island. And at that moment, I let out a scream. Ah, 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 I can't do it right now, I'm too tired. A scream erupted from my mouth. There it goes again. It rushed from my mouth like water from a collapsed dam. Ah, me! Why me? Why do I have to go through with this? Ah, 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 I began to lose my voice and it faded entirely not long after. What followed was silence. No, not complete silence. I heard the faint sound of crashing waves in the distance. As if the waves were murmuring into my ears, This is no longer the world you knew. And once again, I buried my head in my arms. Why am I here? What am I doing here? I forced my eyes shut. I wasn't tired or anything, but I just wanted to sleep. 
if only for a short while. I wanted to put an end to it all. If by chance I managed to wake up the next day, it would be awesome if I was back to my normal life. With these meager expectations, I fell to a light sleep. Oh, well, this is still here. Dunganrumpa 2! To those of you who have purchased Dunganrumpa 2 Goodbye Despair, thank you very much. To those of you who are borrowing Dunganrumpa 2 Goodbye Despair from a friend, you always risk losing friends when you borrow their things, so you should buy your own copy just to be safe. Now then, it's been a while since the main story started, so I'll give the keynote address right now. From now on, I promise you'll be charmed by this world and generally deserves to be called a true game. So make sure you get excited and immerse yourself in the heart throb action to your heart's content. Well then, until the very end, please enjoy this game to the fullest! <laughs> Ahem! Hope Speak Academy School Trip Executive Committee has an announcement to make! Good morning, everyone! Looks like today is going to be another perfect tropical day! Now then, let's show some enthusiasm and make sure to give it our all today! So it definitely wasn't a dream after all. I was forced to acknowledge that yet again, which put me in a bad mood from the get-go. I guess for now I should go outside. Oh no, god! No. Duh, fuck! Bear! No, 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 you're not allowed to go out. But Monokuma, why are you here? No way! Hey, now, don't be worried. I'm here for fun reasons. <laughs> fun reasons? Hey, I want um... you to find my stuffed animals. Mm. I, I got ahead of myself and made too many. Phew. But I thought it'd be a waste to just throw them away, so I've hidden them all over the island. Mm. Just scattered all over various areas, so you just go right ahead and look for them all. Uh, uh, why do I do something like that? Because I said so. You can't say no. I've already hidden one of them in this room, and I won't let you out you find it. Well... Good luck! Jesus, damn that selfish stuffed animal. That's kind of suspicious. That's a lot of dust over there. What is this? It looks like a shelf. I feel like I shouldn't put anything in here. Oh, there it is. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Good job. Good job. That thing's fucking weird. I've also left you some auto coins, so I'm jumping Isn't generous. It's going to be exchanged for fabulous items at the beach and the rocket punch market. I've also hidden stuffed animals in other places too, so you best look for them. <laughs> find them all. Surprise, surprise! What the hell? Never mind. I should just go. Oh, the agony. Oh, the pain. Oh, how creepy that fucking thing is! At least there's a TV. I got no video games here, so it's fucking miserable. This room has a lot of windows. You probably wanted to feel the tropical and open. Well, this isn't really kind of great for that. Can I have some bars on my windows? I'm just saying. I'm gonna shower on this point. It's pretty large and looks easy to use, but never really felt comfortable showering. Well, it's kind of situation after all. Ah, look at that. Stuff. A bed! This bed is pretty comfortable. It's a bed! Oh, the beds. A bedity bed bed. A fucking camera. Of evil. Evil intent. Whoops, wrong button. I'm not sure the point behind this thing. I cleaned it, I guess? I have no idea what the fuck to do with that. I just go mind my own business, I guess. <laughs> I don't know if you did that. <gasps> ah! Did soda! Ah! Huh? Oh, it's just you. Don't scare me like that. I could say the same for you. Hey. By the way, did you see them? Oh, man, not good. What the hell are they? Definitely not good. What are you talking about? Uh... The bridge, you know. Remember that bridge at the Central Island? Did something happen to it? <sighs> no shit! Why the hell would I be here? This is bad. Those monsters are in front of the bridges. They're blocking them off. Wrong. They're not monsters. They're mono beasts. Ah. Oh my God! It's here. So cool. <laughs> I did that completely wrong. I have to do better. The mono beasts are the guardians of Jabberwock Island. They're making sure.
sure you guys don't think about ignoring the progression by going to the other islands. Those monsters are as gatekeepers. It's better if I don't get close to them. Ugh, so annoying. I can't stand this anymore. Hey, get a grip. Your face is getting weird. Aww, man. I can't. There's no way I can get a grip. We're gonna get eaten by monsters. There's no way I can enjoy vacation here now. Hey, Wait, what's up all the noise? He's freaking out. Ah, another m m m m monster ah! <coughs> I came all the way here to get you both. If you're gonna call me a monster... Eh, you here to get us? Well, I was obviously. told to come get you because we kept waiting and you two never showed up. Everyone is waiting at the, at the whole house. Uh, at the <laughs> Everyone's waiting at the hotel restaurant. Hurry up and join us. Everyone's waiting at the restaurant. Oh, uh, whatever, man. I don't care. I don't care at all. <gasps> I'm out of here. Uh, hey, where are you going? That's what I try to say, but he, but soda spreading away like lightning. Lightning soda. I guess I'll head over to the restaurant, see what everyone else wants, and why they force me to get up. Don't they know there's an vile creature called the sun floating in the sky? Waking me up. Having to leave rooms. It's fucking vile. Hey, look, it's the vi ultimate video game. Uh, I thought everyone was waiting at the restaurant. Yep. I thought I'd get some gaming in until everyone else has arrived. Mm. But I guess I should get going too. Playing video games in the morning, huh? She truly is the ultimate gamer. Hey! There's no better way to stay in the morning when you got nothing better to do than playing some video games. These video games are awesome. <laughs> You're late, Hinata. And where is Soda? I thought you were together. He ran off somewhere. Huh? Huh? Where? Well, he pretty much said he was running away, but... Running? But where? <laughs> There's nowhere to run, oh, anyway. What a weirdo. However... However, after what we witnessed yesterday, his behavior is understandable. Huh? Uh, what do you mean? Did something happen yesterday? I don't remember anything happening. Even if it did, I totally looked fake anyway. Understand. Yep, yep, not worth remembering at all. It'd be a lot easier to deal with all this if I could just deny it outright like that. Hey. So, why have you gathered us here? <laughs> not yet. Not until Soda arrives. Wait a sec, that means the reason you told us to come here is... Oi! Apparently, Ms. Your... Bacula has something to tell us. Really? What? I'm gonna die. Obviously, we're here to discuss our strategy for defeating that monster. It's impossible. There's no way you can fight that thing. I mean, it was heavy with... It has heavy weapons and everything. Show some spirit! Anything is possible with fighting spirit! Let me tell you A this. bold boast, however. Let me give you some advice. The truly strong do not raise their voice so recklessly. Hey, hey! Hey, hey, let's start talking already. <laughs> There's probably some lame attempt to make us feel better or something. Don't make me repeat myself. Don't make me repeat myself. When everyone is here, then we can start talking. <laughs> ah, jeez, fine. I'll just bring soda myself then. Everyone wait here. I'll find him and bring him here, even if I have to tie him up. Mm -hmm. I'm a little jealous now, getting tied up by Miss Maharu. <laughs> Maybe I should run away too. Just kidding. <laughs> Disgusting moron. That's fine. Now then, let's have breakfast while we wait for everyone. Let's eat. It's just so weird to see a fat back to live. It's fucking strange. <laughs> it's kind of funny. The way he said that, he started wolfing down the pile of food in front of him. Um, where did that food come from anyway? <laughs> when I arrived this morning, it was already here. Ah, uh, they even have crab and shrimp. Aww. Crab and shrimp are such a pain to eat. I hate them as much as I hate Mike and his ugly stuttering face. <laughs> my ugly st stuttering face. You really wow. mean to the nurse. That's it. That's the face right there. Hey, don't be mean to the nurse. She can choose not to heal your ass. Why, Why are you being so mean? Because <laughs> she's a fucking little bitch. Uh -huh. You're the kind of girl that bullies just love to torment, aren't you? Honestly. You should stop now. Oh. oh I get it. Terror Terror prepared this food, right? <laughs> Unfortunately, it wasn't me. You see, the food I make doesn't taste as shitty as this does. <laughs> this is bad, it tastes yummy to me. No, 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 Just no, yummy, no. right? Compared to the world-class dishes I make, a dish that tastes yummy would still be considered shit. Nonsense! In fact, even comparing them is out of the question. Comparing my dishes to this lowly peasant food? How rude! You want punch in the face, do you? Hey, don't take it so Understand. personally. I'm just saying, if you guys ate my food, you wouldn't be able to control yourself. What does that mean? Well done. Well, let's just say your jaw wouldn't be the only thing that drops. There's no mistake. In fact, your panties would drop too, like the black thong Miss Pico is wearing, for example. Did you say? You creep, how do you know about that? 
he he guessed correctly. However, however, if Taro Taro did not prepare his food, then the one who did is <laughs> could have been Monokuma. It's safe to eat food cooked by something like that. That's why I'm tasting it for poison. Make sure it's safe for consumption. But you don't need to eat that much to check it for poison. Hey. Okay, thanks for waiting. I brought him. Hey, straighten up a little more. Shouldn't a man like you be embarrassed to walk like that? Oh, Stop, don't pull it. You're gonna rip my sleeves. <laughs> yeah, even though you look all flashy, you're actually a big coward. Careful. Are you gonna be okay? People like you are usually the first victim, you know. <laughs> hey, I, I just wanna go home already. <laughs> what the? What happened? Oh no 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 no! I I tripped. Tripped. And your socks fell. And one of your socks fell off. Can you even call that tripping? How in the world did you end up in such a compromising position after tripping? Well, it certainly makes me happy. I'm very happy right now. Oh, I'm so embarrassed. Please help me. Yeah, that's not tripping. She looks so adorable when she's embarrassed. It's so moe. I'm practically snorting with joy. <laughs> we, we should help her up. Are you okay? Mikey, are you okay? <laughs> uh, my head is probably a little, but I'm okay. Your head's definitely not okay. Hey. She's beyond being just a clumsy girl. That fall of hers was like a magic trick or something. Um... Anyway, everybody's here now, right? Then let's get going. Since I'm getting sleepy. Hmm. You're right. Though I'm not quite ready to stop eating breakfast, I should begin my talk. So it's finally starting. That took way too long. That was not a trip she did. Her sock came off for one. She was wrapped up in a fucking wire that had no business being there. That is not a fucking trip. Hey, there's way more than that. <laughs> First, I have a question for you all. That Monokuma thing ordered us to kill each other. So under these strange circumstances, what do you think we need right now? <laughs> Who the fuck knows? Get to the point already. Don't make me repeat myself. If you want me to get to the point, you better hurry up and answer my question. Huh? What do we need? We need food and sleep, obviously, right? No! No, you're forgetting about shitting! <laughs> <laughs> Which means the answers are a good appetite, a good night's sleep, and a good shit! <laughs> Just imagine that, but with motivational voice. It, which means the answers are a good appetite, a good night's sleep, and a good shit. <laughs> hmm. Does anyone have a real answer? Perhaps. Could it be Avon? Avon? I... This is what I believe. As long as the ultimates work together, there's nothing we can't accomplish. It's obvious. You'll be able to. You'll all be able to create a hope that can overcome any despair. That's why, if we want to escape this island, we need to promise each other that we'll work together. Gross! Wow, he said that with a straight face. How is he not embarrassed? <laughs> I just as I figured, that was kind of lame, huh? However... However, he does have a point. That must be why Monokuma is enforcing a rule that would cause us to be suspicious of each other. I see. I see. That was a pretty good answer. Since it's impossible to face our enemies as individuals, under these circumstances, we must fight as a group. <laughs> However, what do we need to achieve that solidarity is not something as easy going optimistic as a bond. A group? That's weird! The person that... Because before, I mean, you look just like him. You could be his kid, or you could be him. doesn't matter. But the last half of the progeny was like, Fuck everyone! There is no group! I'm on my own because I'm a dick. So this is kind of surprising coming from you. Huh? Then what? Listen. What we need right now is a disciplined leadership provided by an unmistakable leader. I see. I see. Even sports teams need captains, after all. Rejoice. Rejoice. I still accept the position. Uh, uh hmm. Now then, I'll wrap this introduction and let's move on to the main question. Hey! Wait just a second. What? What is it? Well, what did you just say? I don't care how you excuse it. You're being too forceful. Decide to be a leader on your own, and why does it have to be you anyway? Not possible. Who is more fit to lead other than me? I am the ultimate affluent progeny of the Togami household, destined to stand above all others. What are you saying? So seriously, I'm telling you that attitude of yours is too forceful. Wait! Maharu, please wait. It's true that Bakula may be a little forceful, but given our current situation, I believe it's the leader's duty under circumstances like this to be forceful to a certain degree. Uh, that may be true, but if we just need someone who can lead people, then even Sonya can. No. No, perish the thought. I'm merely a figurehead. Hey. Well, he must have the qualities of a leader if he can accept the role under these circumstances. Hmm. If everyone's okay with it, I'm okay with it too. It's all I'm clear. not like... Eh, well, he's not exactly stupid, but I have a personal grudge against that fucking jackass. 
then I guess we've made our decision. Don't worry, as long as I'm a leader, I won't let anyone become a victim. I will guide you all. That much, I promise. You know what, though? Someone's gonna become a victim. Someone's gonna die. And part of me hope it's you, Tubby. Because <laughs> I wanted to see... You. Part of me's wanted to see you die since the first one. I've... <laughs> Uh, that fucking peculous jackass. Yeah, so reliable. It's true he's reliable, but I'm a little surprised. I didn't think he was the type of guy who'd say something like that. I expect the ultimate ever progeny to look down on us like we're bugs or something. Hmm. Now then, let's move on to the topic at hand. For real this time, I have something to show you all. Something to show follow us? Follow me. It's at Jebberwark Park at the center island. Come follow me. He looked at the he makes a bum 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 bum. <laughs> They're saying it so bluntly, Bakelet turned and left the restaurant, stomping his feet along the way and shaking the entire planet! Ah, uh, just, as, just, just as I thought, he is serious forceful. Aww. Jeez, how many... And we may have made a mistake in choosing him as the leader. Though everyone made similar complaints, they all followed Bakelet out of the restaurant. So here we go! Oh, look, Sonic. Don't tell me, you too! Huh? Me too? What are you talking uh, about? Oh, Miss Mahara has asked me to take a leadership position. <laughs> well, back to this being too forcible to lead us. Doesn't that raise a red hey, flag? Hey. Please, Sonny, think about it again. Don't you think you should be the leader instead? Uh, I'm certain that I am ill-suited to be hi. one. Furthermore, though back to them may be forceful, I believe he has the qualities to be an effective leader. Huh? Uh, really? Please, listen! Do you not remember what he said about being destined to stand above all others? He has truly attempted to fulfill that destiny by the strength of his own will. <laughs> his impressive stature and physique <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's a testament to the desire to be the off captain grudging in the Um... <laughs> it's quite funny. That is truly grand. I guess that's one way of looking at it. Hmm. You put it like that, Sonya, it does sound convincing. Hey, hey. Okay, I understand. I'm sorry for being so pushy, Sonya. No. No. It is simply a matter of regal... Discretion. discretion? Um... Okay. Hmm. I'm sure the situation is gonna, like, change anytime soon. Well, the ultimate princess decrees it. I guess Bakula can be the leader. That's something. Better hurry and follow Bakula. He's at Jabberwock Park, I believe. Wow, just walking raises my freaking... Wow, walking raises my level a little bit. Jesus. What are you doing? You should hurry over to the park. Ah! ah! Didn't the same thing happen last time, too? Hey, Nana, how many times are you gonna surprise me? I just spoke to you. I just spoke to you normally. Anyway, you should hurry over to the park. Shut up. I'm going to back in my room. Seriously, it's all just one big hassle. Ah, damn it. Seriously, if we're on a tropical, uh, tropical paradise, then why are we in this situation in the first place? Isn't that right? Isn't a vacation supposed to be nothing but lounging around and sipping coconut juice? R relax, snapping at me won't change a thing, okay? Hey! Hinata, it's a sign. You better come to the beach with me later. Huh? Whoa. For coconuts, damn it! I saw some big ones that fall into the shore. I haven't figured out how to split them open, but once you do, once I do, we're gonna have ourselves some coconut juice. You can't just will a coconut open. Just give up and get some coconut juice from the supermarket. <laughs> ah, you just don't understand. Fine, be that way. I'm never gonna ask for your help again. He left. I hope he goes straight to the park. Now then, I should hurry too. And, um, he's a little nuts. We open the door into despair! Where is Mono Beast blocking the bridge? I shouldn't carelessly approach it. For robots. The hell? We're skinny people, you're awfully slow. Oh, fuck you. Um. It seems you're just too fast for us. Ah, uh, jeez, I never expected a fatcha like him to move so fast. What? So, what's supposed to be here? What? Here? Really? Such ignorance. If you haven't noticed yet, then I was right to dismiss you all as idiots. It's the great big bomb thing. Hello, bomb thing! What is that?
It's the Monokuma Bomb until we're all dead. It's always out of place object placed in the center of a peaceful park. It looks like a clock, but something seems off. It's counting down? What's going on? Was this here when we came last time? No! No, I'm pretty sure it wasn't. Hmm. I found it this morning when I was exploring the island one more time. It's unknown where it was actually put when it was actually placed here. It appears. Monokuma must have placed this object. What does this countdown even mean? Uh, I have no clue. <laughs> Once again, something has appeared that I don't understand. But it's good nothing but it's got nothing to do with me, because I refuse to believe this is happening. Hold on! Could it be? It better not be a bomb. Are you kidding me? Not possible. If they wanted to blow up this island, they would have done so by now. There's no need for a countdown. Then, what are they counting down? It's a mystery. Right? A mysterious mystery, isn't it? Manomi? What? Why are you here? I heard everyone talking while I was patrolling, so I came over. Um. No, not that. Didn't Monokuma kill you? Ah, so that's why you were surprised. <laughs> you don't have to worry about that. After all, I can never die. It appears I see. He must be an undead abomination, risen from the foulest depths of the netherworld by black magic. <laughs> you want me to make you my thrall? Hey, hey. Manomi's a mechanical stuffed animal, right? Doesn't that mean she can't die in the first place? <laughs> Why don't you mention it? She only need, like, spare or something? <laughs> spare? What a mean thing to say! <laughs> However, you've arrived at the perfect time. Something I'm willing to ask Come you. on. What is the mean behind this timer and this countdown? Answer me. <laughs> countdown? <laughs> ah, what is this? Um, I'm sorry. I, I don't know what this is. Hey. You really don't know? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't really have a grasp of what Monokuma is up to. Huh? You don't know, even though you're Monokuma's little sister? <laughs> I'm not father's little sister. <laughs> Except the rule or not, which one is it? Alrighty! A anyway, let's all do our best. Let's kick the evil Monokuma off this island. <laughs> if you don't know what the countdown is, you're useless to us. Get lost. Um, um, let's together. I said, I get, said get. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm sorry. Um. Um. Perhaps you're being a little too harsh. I'm starting to feel sorry for it. <laughs> Miss Sonya, may I call you Miss Sonya? No, I insist on calling I you that. Won't be fooled. There's no need to feel sorry for that thing. She's obviously working for Monokuma. Hey, bastard! Who the fuck cares about that stuffed animal? More importantly, what the hell is that clock? Hmm. Looks ominous, doesn't it? Who put that object here? And how did they do it in just one night? Hmm. I can't imagine. Hmm. See, it doesn't make any sense. Also, it's deadly! <laughs> However, that's not all that's unimaginable. This island is full of mysteries that we can't begin to uh, imagine. For example, how were the 16 of us brought to this island? Hmm. I wasn't trying to think about that since it's been bugging me too, but he's right. That is a mystery. <laughs> There's more. Why is Jabberwock Island, which was known for being a popular resort destination, now an uninhabitable island? An uninhabited island. There's no sign of tourists or even citizens on this island. Is something like that even possible? This too must be all the civilizations are destined out. to collapse. Nothing begets existence, and existence begets nothing. So it collapsed? You are right. Society is much like fruit. Once it matures, it is inevitable that it will eventually rot. As the economy grows, the private sector stagnates as elders and bureaucrats become more and more powerful. As time passes, this power becomes the status quo and crushes the seeds of any possible reformation. That is... Such a sad trend. Hmm. I don't really understand all that, but I feel like the situation here is somewhat different. So... Maybe the Monobies mono killed everyone on this island. What? And that's how it became uninhabited? It's certainly That's a possibility, possible. but we don't know that for sure. Hmm. This mystery remains a mystery, it seems. <laughs> it's like everything here is just full of mysteries. Hmm. You're right. It's mysteries on top of mysteries. However, since these mysteries are overlapping with one another, I doubt some no-name group is behind this. But, but what are you trying to say? So I mean, words, the situation we're in is undoubtedly the work of some enormous organization. <laughs> enormous organization? Hmm. Minomi, Monokuma, and the Mono Beast, they're all machines that require major technical skill to operate. Are we screwed? Plus, they need a, a ton of funding, and there's no way these things were made just for the hell of it. In other words... But that organization must be, might be controlling these machines and monitoring the island with those cameras. Then... Could those machines be hiding on this island? Not possible. Not likely. They're probably running this from somewhere else. Somewhere safe. Oh? Where would that be? <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, there's no mistake that an enormous organization is behind all this. 
I see. A big organization, huh? I can't imagine what kind of people they could be. In other words... Well, let's see. There's my Togami Corporation, Sanya's Novelist Kingdom, and the Kazuro Clan. It would definitely have to be an organization as powerful as one of those groups, if not more so. Huh? huh? <laughs> I used to being mistrusted. Do what you will. Hey. Hold on, I don't care about you or the Kazaro clan, but I won't allow you to doubt Miss Sonya. Miss Sonya is a hot blonde princess. There are a sharp distinction between her and you punks. Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, just shut up already, loser. Whoa. Loser? Are you talking about me? Yeah. It's obvious from your flashy clothes that you just want to stand out because you're actually a loser. <laughs> <laughs> it must be hard to make your living in the lame-ass loser industry. <laughs> too far, dude. That's going way too far. Hey, Bacula... Were you serious just now about this being related to your family, Sonia's, and such? I'm just using them as an example, not saying they have anything to do with this. But you're certain that we're up against a huge organization, right? However... Even if such an organization exists, why would they make us go through something like this? Anyway... Whatever. How long are we gonna keep talking about this? Why don't we talk about something more realistic? Irony's purpose is still unknown. As long as we find out who's behind this, we'll learn their purpose. So, in other words... So what we must do now is find out who our enemy is. If we do that, then we'll be that much closer to a breakthrough. Luckily, according to the e-handbook, we are free to explore this island. There would definitely be a clue about the enemy on this island somewhere. Let's start looking. I'm gonna do it! Alright, let's get this crap done! <laughs> uh, what are we looking for? Hey! Okay. Okay, are we listening? We need to find clues that will lead us to who our enemy is. Fine. No problem. No matter how large this organization may be, they will not be able to stand against us. Oh, they are destined to fall and turn to ash in the might of my four dark divas of destruction. Wow! Wow, hamsters can came out of your scarf! <laughs> They're so adorable. What? Adorable, you say? Th th thank you. <laughs> oh my, my! Pretty happy about that, huh? huh? Look at that guy talking to Miss Sonya all casually. I'm definitely gonna beat the crap out of him later. I don't get it. In this tense situation, we all need to be a lot more cautious. Yet, I'm relieved everyone's in such high spirits. It's strange, but I feel like I rely on them. Can't we just ask Monokuma about the great big bomb? This must be what it means to have the confidence of an ultimate. Then what am I? Am I confident to call myself one of them? Damn it, I still can't remember what hell am I supposed to have? Listen. Anyway, let me just say this. There's no time to think about something as foolish as killing each other. You must do what you have to do. Observe, speculate, recognize, comprehend. Even if it seems impossible, just persevere. Most importantly, follow my lead. I'll make sure to return you all to your normal this lives. This is your leader's order. Understand? <laughs> uh, that's, like, totally awesome! <laughs> the right hand of his... <laughs> the right hand of his is so plump. I've got the perfect nickname for him. Ham Hands! Ham Hams? Ham Hams, you say? <laughs> I never thought I'd see the day when someone called me something like that. Huh? Why aren't you getting mad? Naturally. Why would I get mad at something as petty as that? She served me directly and thought up a nickname. There's nothing dishonest about a name like that. <laughs> Perhaps I've always yearned for this. Though it may seem ironic for me to realize that, that in this particular situation, he's totally monologuing right now. Such silly. Don't worry about it. I was talking to myself just now. I fucking know. I can kind of smut that kind of shit. I do it all the time. Don't really get it, but I guess this guy is just some overcars. Car overconfident narcissistic jerk after all. Oh, he's an overconfident narcissistic jerk. Don't mistake that one. That he is. Just so happens that the asshole tends to be right. As far as situation, he's mysteriously calm. He might just be a reliable person after all. Meh. All right. All right then. We should listen to Bakula and not waste our energy thinking about pointless things. It's true that we're not in the best situation, but it's also not the worst. Right. Because we're not alone. We have friends we can count on to support each other. Well, Seriously? That sounds lame. I, I knew what I was thinking of, so just how lame I sounded for saying that. Friends, huh? Until now, I never really thought about friendship. That sort of thing seemed embarrassing. I never would have thought about the situation. No, actually, it's more like because of the situation. In the end, we never saw the mystery of the ominous countdown. But without losing heart, we all went back to the hotel. We believe in your friends, huh? It'd be difficult to believe in them right away, but it'd be nice if it could happen a little at a time. Huh, if I'm starting to think like that, doesn't that show I'm making good progress? Now there's no reason to hold up in my room and stare blankly into space. Since there's time, it'd be a great idea if I went ahead and talked to everyone. I know it's sudden, but it's time for a brief tutorial. During the school trip, there'll be more called. Yep. 
During free time, you'll be able to strengthen your friendship, spend time with other students. Also, if you give them a present afterwards, you might make an even better impression. You can obtain presents from Mono Mono Yashin <sighs> and Vending Machine at the supermarket. When you strengthen the friendship, the intimate event is activated and adds the report card. Also, if you show any hope fragments you've gathered to Yasumi via the report card, you can gain new skills. Feel free to strengthen your friendship with as many people as you want. Also, when you spend time with someone, time will pass and you will return to your college afterward. After spending time several times, your free time will end and you will continue to the main story. By the way, you can skip free time, blah blah blah. Free time! Spend time with. Get out of my way, stupid thing. Let's go talk to someone I actually can see and share an interest in, I guess. Right! No, not that way! Left! I'm not fucking talking to you. Could talk to the nurse. But now nah, we'll talk to the ultimate gamer first. Do you need something? I know she's gaming, but should I try? Sure, can you just wait a sec? I need to find a safe point. I spent some time sitting next to Chai. Chai, I can't say your name again. And play video games all day. Who's second I grew looks like give die? Do I even have presents? I don't think I have presents. No, I ain't got shit. I got this, which I can't give away. It's kinda <laughs> ah, whatever. She's staring off the space again as usual. Sorry. I'm sorry, it's getting a little sleep. Why were you standing? What? That's impressive. Have you not been sleeping well? Mm. When I'm gaming, I tend to forget about sleeping. Sometimes I even forget to breathe. Well, I haven't done that. I don't forget to breathe, I don't forget to sleep, and I don't forget to eat. Not good. Plus, I keep having nightmares. I had a bad dream the other day, so I've been a little scared. Can't ask what kind of dream you had? Well, it was a dream about Trio the Punch. Huh? Mm. The statue of Jabberwock Island changed into a bald old man with a thin mustache. It's probably because the game also takes place on a tropical island. The more I think about it, the more the situation feels like that bizarre action game. You might eventually end up turning into sheep. Trio the Punch is a game, right? What kind of game is it? More importantly, you must really enjoy games, huh, Shekai? Mm. Yeah, Nanami. Hmm. How should I put it? I like it, but gaming is my life. Or maybe life is just a game? Either way, that's all the more reason why killings shouldn't be allowed. It's not a game if you're not having fun. It doesn't mean anything if you just focus on winning or losing. You're right. It doesn't mean games always have to be happy endings, but you should get something out of beating them. There might be weird games here and there, but there are always, but there are ways of joining those too. That's why bizarre games are fun. You can beat them as long as you do your very best. <laughs> As expected of the Ultimate Gamer, I'd probably just give up on a game like that. I wouldn't. But to tell the truth, there's one type of game that I'm not really good at. I see. What is it? I won't tell you. I see. Does she have a reason for not telling me? Well, just by talking to Nami, I feel like I was able to understand her a little better. So I guess that's good enough for now. What tea? The fuck? 
someone just sneeze the damn thing out? So, yeah, we've got time left. Alright, um... There are other people. Uh, I guess maybe I should try to find any of those Monokuma stupid things. Well, we ain't talking to you, Bakula, like, because I fucking hate your guts, still. Hey, I ding by walking! Celebrate! Hooray! 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 You're gonna be in there a lot. <laughs> uh, Taro Taro's in there. You're in your room. Pickle. 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 Pickle the paper. You're over there. I have no idea where you're... Oh, wait. That's where you two are. Naka seems interesting as a character, so I might talk to him at some point. What the hell is that? I don't plan on hanging out with anyone here, but someone just caught my attention. Monokuma Rock. No change my point. Don't go here right now. Okay, well I learned something. That apparently up there is called Monokuma Rock for whatever reason that is. Oh, well, I'll talk to Sanya, I guess. I kind of don't know who to talk to. Jabba Park. And you give me bad vibes. I'm not quite sure why, but this whole game is just bad vibes coming off of your ass. Howdy, howdy, ho! I'm truly happy that someone has casually walked up to me to talk. Amazing. This must be what it means to have classmates. I'm very touched. You kind of forgot you're not used to this. This is. <laughs> then we like to talk, take a walk. I would like to view the ocean a bit more. I spent time today walking along the shore with Sonya. Probably don't deserve it, but it looks like Sonya and I grew a little closer. Which is, I don't have presents. Um. I must say this island is truly a wonderful place. Tight. The weather is calm and the sea is blue. Truly a perfect resort setting. That might be true, but oh, oh did I say something strange? No, I was just thinking that you're strangely calm right now. Sonia, are you really not worried about our current situation? I bet she isn't. Hi. Of course I'm worried. I am also angry. Jeez, it's not something to joke about. Who's joking? However, However, what happens next depends on us. As long as we do not kill anyone, this will all be fine. That's the right attitude, but... Besides, I have come th I have come here to learn about your country. I would understand if this were my homeland, but in this case, the land is foreign to me. Well? I do not intend to kill anyone. I do not intend to be killed easily either. The way she said that sounded a little dangerous. This is my. If this were my homeland, see this. So this would be. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, anyway, let us forget about killing and cooperate one another so we can return home quickly. If you have any good ideas, for you, let me know. I shall do my best to think about something too. Ah, you're right. When I speak to Sonia, someone feel really positive and optimistic. Hmm, such an honor. Raise your head. There is no need to worry. What she's saying sounds odd, but she certainly looks the part. Typical of a princess, I guess. Uh, that reminds me. What was the name of your country? Is our college country name was... Oh, um... It was No Silk Kingdom, right? <laughs> it sounds as though you finally remember. Well, it's not a country I've ever heard of. Yes, that's understandable. It is often overlooked by cartographers. Um... Our novelist kingdom is an extremely small country and governed by an absolute monarchy. Though the population is small, our economy is thriving, so we are not in dire straits at all. For generations, the royal family has protected the kingdom and its people from its neighboring countries. Thanks to that, the people still have complete trust toward the royal family. Well? And also, wine and chocolate is one of our country's hidden specialties. I see. It really does sound like a kingdom. So since you're the princess of that kingdom, does that mean you live in a castle or something? Yes. Of course, the royal family has been living in the royal castle for over a thousand years. Though maybe old and small, the castle is truly a wonderful historic building. Of course. Of course, it's easy to get lost in our subterranean labyrinth, and our barracks are fully equipped as well. So castles really do have those? Um, um anyways, all right if I ask you something as well. If I can answer it, it's fine. Who did you have your heart set on initially, and who do you intend to switch to later? Um, what? The situation is truly similar to the story of seven men and women. I have no idea what that is. To believe it is a standard tactic to start wavering and swapping partners. Um, hold on, what are you talking huh? about? Do you really have no idea? It's Japan's legendary drama. 
well? Yeah, I don't know. It starts off really upbeat, but then it gets really serious. I never expected that to happen. It's all like, seriously, what's going to happen? I could just not take my eyes off the screen. Uh. Monokuma's feelings are... At, at the time... M Momoko is not Monokuma's. Jesus, I've seen the letter M in front of it, and my brain goes straight to there. Momoko's... Momoko. That's a name that sounds familiar. Why does that sound familiar? Feelings are at the same time... At the time where... My goodness, so intense! I like, tend to listen to song extends to talk about Japanese dramas. At least now I totally understand that she's a major J-drama fangirl. Okay. There's a sneeze that's... There's that sneeze again! Someone just sneezed that damn thing out! What, they're probably excusing myself from long car station? Ah, uh, get the fuck out of there. So, we got something to do? Or is it still free time? Nope, it's night time. Okay. We'll have to wait till later to go to the store, which will probably be after whenever the stream is. Uh, the bell just now. Could it be... Ahem! Hope speak hello, everyone! The fun time you've all been waiting for is about to begin! I wonder what festivities await you! Oops, don't want to ruin the surprise! It was a little meh at first, but anyway, please gather at Jabberwock Park! Oh, that's something to do with that bomb thing, doesn't it? That I'm pretty sure it's a bomb. Did you just go to the park? It's the middle of the night. What's he up to? I suddenly had a bad feeling about all this, and goosebumps sprung up all over my body. If we're not allowed to defy Monokuma, then there's no way I can ignore this, right? Which means there's nothing I can do except listen to him. Damn it! What is it now? The end of the world as you know it. Again. First Island. Central Island. Wrong way! Pickle! Pecco, you came too, huh? I have no choice. After all, the handbook clearly states that the fire Monokuma is not permitted. However, it'd be foolish to resist if it's just going to make things worse. I hope everyone feels the same way. That worries me a little. Anyway. Anyway, we must go to the park. Yeah, I guess I have no choice. Come on, let's follow Pecco. Pecco, Pecco. <laughs> I'm having too much fun with her name. What the hell? Everyone was already at Jabberwock Park when I arrived. Once again, you're late. Do you lose your nerve? I like to deny that, but he's not exactly wrong That's either. Fine. Anyway, since everyone is here. How annoying! <sighs> what is it this time? So freaking annoying. Then you shouldn't have come. I mean. Well, I mean, I don't know what happened to me if I don't come. <laughs> <laughs> since none of us know what will happen, maybe you should be the one to test that out. <gasps> hey, you may talk like you're tough, wise guy, but you wouldn't be here unless you were scared too. Huh? What? Yeah, yeah. I guess even a big bad Yakuza like you must have been scared of that monster, huh? You... What the fuck did you just say? Wait! To stop you two, finding among friends isn't good. I will never call that Yakuza person a friend, because he'll probably kill me, given the chance. Huh? What? Did you just say friend? Dumbass! I'm not your friend, dumbass. When the... When the... When did I ever become friends with you bastards? Eh. Hmm. Hmm. Let me be perfectly clear. I can do, I can it, do it, you know. Huh? Huh? You... You... What did you just say? Say you? Oh, you didn't hear me? Then I'll repeat myself that once for you. I said I can do it. Do it. What are you saying? Don't tell me. Are you being serious right now? He is the ultimate Yakuza! Of course he can kill people! He's probably killed shit tons of people! Hey, Fuku, why don't you calm down a bit? Bastard! Don't talk to me like we're friends or don't something. I live in a completely different world than you bastards. Kill or be killed, that's the kind of world Jeez. I live in. <laughs> the girls make more sense to me than that play nice, get along crap. What are you saying? If you don't stop it right now, I'm going to get seriously angry. You... Don't treat me like a kid, bitch. Just stop. Just stop already. This kind of fighting will not get us anywhere. Shut the hell Shut up! Shut the hell up. There's no way I'm dealing with this kumbaya crap. <laughs> if any of you guys want to die, step forward. I'll fucking kill you right now. Sounds fun. Up. Give me your best shot. What's gonna happen if you're this easily provoked? That's enough. Enough. Huh? Huh? 
I see. Theoko, I understand what you're saying. Don't worry. I did not intend to dismiss your feelings. There was a time when I also thought the same way as you. Don't treat me like Are you treating me like a kid, kid too? Let me say this. What would a reckless killing accomplish? If you fail to get away with it, you'll know you'll be executed. Or perhaps that's what you really want. If so, hmm. you'd only be killing yourself to run away from this predicament. That's what a child will do. What did you just <laughs> What did you say? Listen. Listen, so long as we're here, I will not let any of you die. I will not let any of you become a victim. And that goes for you too, Fihuko. I won't let you die. <laughs> what, what the hell? Everything you're saying, it's just empty promises. <laughs> it's true my words would ring hollow if anyone else spoke them. My name but is I am Bakuya, Togami. And I am destined to bring these to bring these promises to fruition. <laughs> Yowza, he's so cool. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> yeah, she's a good nosebleed from that. <sighs> I don't care what you say. I'm just going to do whatever I feel like. <laughs> do what you will. However, remember what I said earlier. In the name of my I will family. not let any of you become a victim. That is the duty I've appointed to myself. <laughs> it seems like Bakula was solved it for now. But even if he's the ultimate Yakuza, there's no way Fioka really meant what he said earlier, right? He is the ultimate Yakuza! You need to watch him a lot! Because he will kill someone! Mm. Oh my god, it's wearing a suit! the hell? Why are you wearing a suit? This is troubling. It looked like you guys were arguing, so I wasn't sure when to actually show up. It looks like I showed up at an awkward time. Hey, hey. Why are you dressed like that? Hey, um... Oh, didn't I mention it? Didn't I mention my re recent... Didn't I mention in my recent broadcast it's my costume for the fun time? Oh my god, I completely didn't say that. Oh, don't tell me you're going to. Correct. That's right, Sandra Tropical Island, I'm here to do my two-man comedy routine. <laughs> Why does it matter that we're on a tropical island? However, but can you do a two-man comedy routine all by yourself? Of course! Of course not, that's why I brought my partner. <laughs> what is this? Meaningless. That figures. Thank you for waiting! Now then, without further ado, I'm pleased to present Monokoma Side Splitting Live Two-Man Comedy Show. <laughs> I didn't hear anything about this. Are you telling me I have to improvise? I'm speechless. Hello! I'm Monokuma! Um, I'm Monami! And together we are the Monokumas! Now, I know it's sudden, but I guess I should show you guys my amazing mind-reading abilities! Uh, you can read minds? As practice, I'll guess your favorite food! Hmm... Your favorite food is... You can do it. It's obvious what rabbits like. Heck, that's right. Davers. I've never eaten a dead body. Now then, Monami's up next. Come on, do a short skit or something. What? There's no way I can do that. No worries, it's all good. I know a technique to summon the god of comedy. So, which do you think is better? Taking blood while you're still alive, or after you're already dead? Why would you ask such a cruel question? If I'm gonna summon the comedy, then I'll need a lot of blood. So, a god of comedy wants blood. Mm, pretty please. No matter how charmingly you ask, there's no way I'll let you take my blood. You're always so quick to make a scary face, Monami. You guys better be careful, too. You know, since Monami's actually a bad guy. She's as bad as the first villain the hero fights in a teen manga. They're always the underdog. Believe me, it's a fact that Monami's a villain. I'll let you all in on a little secret of hers. Monami went out of her way to erase your memory. Say what? Wait, huh? You guys don't even remember how you got to this island, am I right? Well, that's because Monami stole your memories! Well, what are you saying all of a sudden? But wait, there's more! She didn't just steal your boring memories, like how you guys got to this island. She completely took away your memories of the years you spent at Hope's Peak Academy! What a shocker! Oh, uh... <sighs> I feel great now that I've shared that with you. Seriously, memory loss plots are so old hat nowadays. 
Only a total hack would wait until the end of the story to reveal a cliché twist like that! Well, they're making fun of the first game. P please stop! <laughs> Wasn't that a huge surprise? In truth, you guys aren't freshman students at all! You guys just thought you were because you've lost all of your school memories! Quick! Someone get a plagiarist because I feel like I've heard this story before! S seriously this is bad in so many ways! I'm through dealing with you! Ugh, his backhand is far too powerful! What did he mean? Hey! Hey! How is it? Was it funny? Or was the comedy too highbrow for you? Come on. Hey, what were you saying just now? Huh? What was I saying just now? <laughs> oh, you mean when I said that your school memories were completely stolen? Completely stolen? Our school memories completely... What is he saying? <laughs> <laughs> There's no way. Because I just entered Hopefully Academy and then I was brought to this island right away. It's true. That's because that's how you remember it. All thanks to Manomi stealing your school memories. What are you saying? That's impossible. Who knows? Man, how many years has it been since you guys first entered Hotes Peak Academy? I wonder what happened to your friends and family. They probably were sick about you. Maybe. Impossible! Our school memories were stolen? That's ridiculous! That's right! That's right. There's no way I have memory loss. You can't! Don't, don't listen to what he says. Limit breached. I won't believe you. I believe won't believe think. Yep, everything's okay. I don't believe it. You're lying, right? Stealing the memories, that's a lie, right? You're, you're just trying to make us fool, fools out of us, right? Wrong! Nope, it's not a lie. If it was a lie, then how do you explain this? The moment you all arrived at Hope's Peak Academy, you all experienced a strange dizziness. Well, what? How do you know that? Actually... <laughs> Why, that was the cutoff point. Your memories beyond that point have been completely removed. What the hell? How could I feel myself get I feel myself get lightheaded? I couldn't think, I couldn't speak. How can I could only breathe in every gasp and breath? So a long time has passed since then? Impossible! Impossible! There's no way! Lie. On the contrary, why isn't it impossible? That's Whether or not it's possible, there's no way we can believe it. No, no! You just don't want to believe it, right? Yeah. But don't worry, I'm a generous guy. I can give you back your memories. Huh? Hey! However, um, there's a catch. Tell me the catch is. <laughs> figured it out That's yet? Right. That's right, you guys have to kill each other! That's my bargaining point! <laughs> hey, hey. You guys wanna know, right? You want your school memories returned to you, right? Hey, then you better start killing a penny for your thoughts and a murder for your memories! Yes, hey, stop are. running your mouth! Wah -wah? My, my, why so angry? I'm just providing you all a motive for the bottom of my big, generous heart. Otherwise, you cowards wouldn't get any killing done! Well, that's not your fault. Humans are natural born cowards. They even cry after their mom squeezes them out. Special breeding That's why I'm service. giving you a motive. Think of it as an excuse to commit your future crimes. Quiet. Stop this at once. Do you really think your delusional rambling will convince us to commit murder? What are you saying? I don't even believe that Mary lost crap in the first place. Uh, but more than that, well, you guys really don't believe in each other, right? What's going on? Well, what do you mean? Hey, um... You guys don't know each other, which means... Yeah! None of you realize that a traitor is hiding among you, right? Huh? Wow, are you doing all the plots already from the first one and it's gonna add more shit later? Jesus! <sighs> hey, why are there 16 of you? If a total of 15 students from Hoax Peak Academy were arranged to come to this island... I got it! That's right, there's probably a traitor I don't even know about hiding among the group. Just kidding. What are you saying? All this shit about traitors doesn't make any sense. It's obvious not it's obviously nonsense. Lame! For real, you guys, how can you be so sure? You guys don't know anything about each other. You don't know each other's true natures. That's why if one of you is planning to kill someone, it's possible for any of you to know. With those words, everyone fell silent. I wanted someone to argue with them, anybody, but nobody said a word. They just stood there. Uh-huh. Even so, if there really is a traitor, isn't that gosh darn awful? Pretending to be your ally and tricking you guys? It makes sense for someone like that to get killed, right? <laughs> come on, make the brand of strike. It's first come, first come, and the it's first served, and the winner takes all. <laughs> if you want to survive, you gotta find that person before they find you. <laughs> Even 
after Monokuma's boisterous laughter faded away, we all just stood there. Every one of us. The situation, the circumstances, the phenomenon, this disaster, this nightmare, this hell, this despair, consumed every one of us. Is it true? Is there really a traitor among us? Well, it's not me, by the way. I know I may look suspicious, but it's not me. Who is it? Hurry up and show yourself. You're only making things worse for you by staying silent. That's enough. Just stop. There's no way there's a traitor. There's no way. It's pointless to even discuss something so foolish. Yeah, huh? Yeah, because that, you know, th that's right. I, I don't believe it. Because there's no way I can believe it. There's no reason in the first place to believe it. Monomi, would you, you would know. Huh? Is what Munakuma said true about our memory loss and about the traitor? Um... Oh, I mean... Everyone needs to look to the future. That's why you should look back to the past. Keep your eyes fixed upon the future. Let us do our very best. Huh? Uh, she ran away. Um, how ridiculous. Memory loss, a traitor is completely fixed. Dumbass. I can't deal with this bullshit, dumbass. He said, it's a work of fiction. It's entirely different from the reality I know. Stolen memories, all my school memories, everything. A traitor hidden among us. But what really struck to me was when Monokuma said, You guys don't know anything about each other. Ahem! Hope Speak Academy, it is now. Please return to your rooms and relax. Let the sound of the ocean gently rock you to sleep. Now then, sweet dream. And good night, and I hope you die. So who's gonna die first? Well, only one way to find out, I suppose. Hey. Let's keep going forward. Hey, what should we do? <laughs> it's better if we call a night here. We should go get some sleep and try to keep our minds calm. Oh. I guess you're right. This is your leader's order. Just so you all know, don't think about unnecessary things. This is your leader's order. I'm going to think about all the unnecessary things. Tomorrow morning, let's meet at the restaurant after Monokuma's morning announcement. Um... How troubling. I think the saying goes, I'm frightened so stiff. Um... Huh? I feel pretty stiff right now, too. Uh. That's... not... how that saying goes. But it's not her fault. She's a foreigner, after all. To be honest, I don't really remember what happened after that, but later I realized something. I was sitting on my bed inside the cottage, with my head drooping down to my chest. As I sat there alone, a strange thought suddenly crossed my mind. Traitor? Could it be someone who isn't like the others? Like someone who doesn't even remember what their talent is? What the hell? I don't understand at all. I put these stupid thoughts out of my mind and collapsed onto my bed. Immediately I closed my eyes. Closing my eyes was the only thing I could do to escape from this otherworldly reality. They say impossible is a, word, is a word that's only found in the fullest dictionary. Obviously it's impossible to use a word that's not in your dictionary. If someone can actually make the impossible it's possible... It's all over if you say that! You could truly call that person someone who doesn't have the impossible. Um... Okay. That made no sense. I... Just, no fucking sense at all. Ahem! Hope Speak Academy School Trip Executive Committee has an announcement to make! Good morning, everyone! Looks like today is going to be another perfect tropical day! Now then, let's show some enthusiasm and make sure to give it our... I don't know why I listened to the whole thing. It's the same crap from before, so I just skip through it. I slowly and awkwardly sat up in my bed. Both my head... Both my head... Both my head and my body felt heavy, but... It was still an improvement compared to last night. We all said we'd meet at the restaurant. I don't remember saying shit about being at the restaurant, but we better go there anyways. There's more people. That many people they won't kill. Hi there. I suppose I need to talk to get my level up. Not everyone is as strong as Bakula. I've never thought about having overcome anything before. It's not like I just run away from my problems, but it's more like I was just living my life without even thinking about them at all. Even so, I was still able to live. But this is different. Sorry. I'm sorry. I'm being. I was way. I was being too negative. No, I understand. I'm the same as well. But now that we talked, I feel assured once again. Being loners won't go get us anywhere. That's why I think we should help. All help each other out. Also, I think we need to get stronger. An ordeal like this will make us cling to hope. Yeah, you're probably right. right well, I'll be heading to the restaurant now. I don't know. 
Your facial expression is based on the topics you're saying. It's giving me vibes from it's just not good vibes. Vibes that make me not want to trust you remotely. Uh, hello. Good morning. Yeah. Good morning. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. What is it? I said good morning. Why is she so sorry? My first time greeting someone else. Actually greeted back. I'm so happy. Um, could you do it one more time? Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> what kind of life has she had? Aren't you supposed to be the ultimate nurse? We're not talking to you because you're a bitch. Moving on. I don't care if you're supposed to be a little kid or something. You're still a bitch. Good morning, Jami. Yeah, good morning. Aww. Jeez, what's, what's, what's with the solemn mm. face? Well, I guess I'm not the one to talk. I couldn't really sleep last night. I had a lot on my, own, on my mind. I don't know if I'll ever get the answers I'm looking for. Aww. Man, just for kicks, I should prepare some yummy desserts and tea and invite some people to come chat with me. Right. Just so you know, it's going to be a girls-only gathering. Don't expect the boys to be invited. Okay. You from his girl talk. What do girls even talk about? I guess guys will never know. Yeah, yeah. I go on ahead. You better hurry and go to the restaurant. Good nom nom nomming? What? Yes! I thought I'd be greeting for him when we all eat breakfast together. It's a revolutionary new phrase that combines good morning with nom 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 at the same time. <laughs> it's definitely the new hip thing to say. In fact, I'll make sure it's the new hip thing to say. Meow. Good nom nom nomming. <laughs> so, I'm gonna go tell everyone. Even if she makes it popular, I'd it'd still be limited to this island. Good morning, Anami. Hey. Good morning. What was the pause for? Well? I'm in the middle of doing combo strings. I couldn't really reply. Doing what? Hmm. I guess it's almost time. I'll go to the restaurant then. And yep, to the restaurant. You go, and then we go talk to somebody. What the hell? My neck. Why does it feel like that? Several people are already at the restaurant. But nobody's talking, not a single word. While they sat there, the people who were late began to arrive as well. Everyone. I've made you wait. Is everyone here? Huh? Huh? It seems. Yakuza's not here yet. <laughs> uh, maybe he got. He maybe he already got killed. <laughs> God, dead bodies already? No. Don't go killing people off. I saw him outside earlier. However, he told me he would not be joining us this morning. <laughs> Why does he have to act like a lone wolf at the time at a time like this? Cause he Maybe. is Yakuza. Could he is he thinking up a plan to kill someone by himself? You must not. Soda, you should not doubt your friend. Hey, hey, hey! Well, he's a Yakuza, isn't he? Do you understand what that means? He's part of the Japanese mafia. Oh shit. Hmm. I presume he's the kind of person who would not come even if we summoned him. That's fine. I guess it can't be helped. We should just talk among ourselves. Someone can fill him in later. Or we could not fill him in. Talk. What are we going to talk about? Rejoice. Rejoice. I decided to throw a party tonight. Uh, what? <laughs> a, a party? That's right. That's right. A huge party that will last from sundown to sunrise. What the? Party till the sun comes up. This is your leader. Just so we're order. clear, I will not allow any absences. Your attendance at this party is absolutely mandatory. And what huh? if I don't show up? Hey, now's not the time to talk about stuff like partying. Hmm. On the contrary, there's no better time than this. Hmm. But still, we really shouldn't be partying. Wait! Um, hold on. I agree with Bakula. It doesn't do us any good to stay bummed out like hey. this. In fact, because of the situation right, it's probably best we all strengthen our friendships with one another. <laughs> That's what you thought too, right? That's why you want to throw a party? Hmm. It doesn't matter why I'm doing it. Anyway, it's of all importance that we all stay in one place tonight. You fiend. You say that with such significance. It's all clear. It's decided. We're having ourselves a party. But... Sure. Even so, I'm not sure it needs to last all night. Stop talking. If I thought that, I would have made that clear from the beginning. Oh, I'm sorry! I'm sorry. I'm so, so sorry for trying to meddle with your plan. Stop apologizing for everything. I see. It's important to be flexible in a situation like this. Perhaps a diversion from all this is just what we need. Yahoo! Then let's party hard. <whistles> uh, in that case, I'll put my amazing cookie skills on display for you guys. Hmm. Well, is the party going to be held? Would this restaurant be okay? Hmm. No, this won't do. We need a location that's impervious to interference from outsiders. Place even Monokuma cannot enter. What we need is an enclosed space. Um, an enclosed space? 
the restaurant won't do, and neither will the lobby. That's not nearly close enough. Um... Nor the cottages. With so many people, we'd all be pressed up against each other. But if you want to be pressed up against each other, then a cottage is clearly the best choice. I can't stop me. Pressed up against ladies while sneaking aboard the woman only train and drag? I feel so lucky. There's something wrong with I you. I can't believe how comfortable you are with saying your perverted thoughts out loud. <laughs> I may be a pervert, but I'm that kind of pervert everybody likes. Nope. <laughs> your confidence is seriously impressive. Hey. Then how about the old looking building near this hotel? Huh? That rundown place? You're right. Yeah, but if we do our best to clean it, I think it'd be perfect. Plus, it's basically the only place that meets our needs for an enclosed space, right? However... Indeed. Monomi has forbidden us from entering that old place. As I recall, it's in the middle of being renovated. <laughs> I have heard your conversation, heard it with all my very own ears. I have good ears, because I'm a rabbit. I see. Oh, so you use your ears. That's strange. <laughs> then what is the reason for those surveillance cameras? Are they from Monokuma's eyes only? Hello! Ah, she looks so disappointed. That's fine. Well, if it is no concern, we can sell that issue another time. Listen. Regarding that old building, you came to tell something about it, right? <laughs> yes, it strengthens everyone's bonds with each other. That will not hesitate to cooperate. I shall allow it. So in that case, I'll allow you to enter the old building. I'll cooperate so we can all party together. <laughs> together? That's not gonna happen, because you're so disgusting. Understand? God damn, you're a fucking bitch. Do yourself a favor and stay away from mirrors. You'll be grossed up by what you see. <laughs> Your kind, word, your kind words make me want to cry. <laughs> Those are not kind words. Um, so we're good with the old building? And? Then what about the preparations? If it's in the middle of a renovation, don't we need to clean it first? Oh. I have never done the dirty work known as cleaning before. I'm excited to finally experience it. Hey, hey, hey. No way, there's no way we can dirty our dear princess's hands. Aww. Yeah, I don't want to do it either. Jeez. What, nobody's gonna to do it? Hey. In that case, why don't we decide by random drawing? Random drawing? Actually... To be honest, I already prepared a drawing because I assumed something like this would happen. To go to trouble preparing this, just what did you think would happen? See? Whoever draws a chopstick with the, re with the red mark on it will be in charge of cleaning, okay? Does that sound fair? Shots, man! Well then, let us entrust our destinies to the whims of this drawing! Alright! Well, no hard feelings. One by one, uh, one, by one everyone took turns pulling the chopsticks. Watch his face held in his hand. <laughs> I can't remember his fucking name. And when it was all done, said and done. What? Uh, I'm left with a red mark. <laughs> For someone called the ultimate lucky student, you don't seem very lucky right now. Oh. I guess it can't be helped. All right. Well, it was just cleaning. Leave it to me. I'm actually pretty good at it. <laughs> I thought so. You seem like you'd make a good stay at home, Dad. I'll take that as a compliment. Okay. I'll handle the cooking. Oh God, damn! Fucking shoulder. All right, first I need to prepare my ingredients, then I'll start cooking. <sighs> if I could not trip over my own words, that'd be fantastic. At the old building. There's no mistaking it. I Taro Taro will go out. <sighs> God fucking! I Taro Taro will go out. I'll prepare the world's tastiest dishes for you all. Then. Why am I tripping over my words so damn much? <sighs> I didn't get uh, sleep last night. That could be it. Maybe I'm just tired. Then I just need to pass along the party details to. To Yakuza. Don't invite Yakuza, dude. He's a murdering jackass. Guess he's a Yakuza guy, so that's kind of, you know. <laughs> Let's go about business then. After Monokuma's nightly announcement, we'll meet at the old building. I don't want to. <laughs> Everyone decided to go back to the cottage. But we will. God, fucking hell, There's still some time left for the party. There's no way I can. I can spend staring into space in my room. Because I have some free time. It's better if I went and talked to everyone. Free time! Hooray! So it's either going to be later in this day, or tomorrow, someone's probably going to die if uh, we stick to the three-day rule and someone dies. Like the first one. Alright, I need to check the map see where people are. Gamers always, guys, always going to be in there, isn't they? Bakula, Tanaka's, Tanaka, Tanaka, too. The mechanic guy's not such a bad person so far. Where's he? Because I can actually have some related shit with him, too. And we'll talk to Peko afterwards.
Whoops, too far. Because being a technician myself, I can actually relate to him a little bit, at least as far as that kind of shit goes. Man, man, everyone in Silent has a colorful personality. Well, I personally think Gundam and Taro Taro are the most colorful so far. But what do you think? What should I do? Should I invite? Yep, hanging out. <laughs> As dudes who aren't all that interesting, let's get along. That's obvious. Wait, wrong. hey, I'm actually very interesting, you know. I didn't say shit. That's you. You did that. He kept putting his foot in his mouth. That, yeah, he did. Looks like we grew closer. I don't have presence. Like I have zero presence. Man, why did this happen? We're on a tropical island, you know, surrounded by a blue sea, you know. And there's plenty of ladies here too. So why do we have to be involved in all this killing nonsense? Although, Soda's intentions are probably not pure, I agree with what he's saying. If this was normal Ah, fuck, I just bit myself. It would have been really fun. Ah. Man, and here I thought I was finally going to get on a school trip for the very first time. First time? Didn't you go on one during middle school? <laughs> I was supposed to, but I ditched it. I am fake being sick and stayed home. Oh, uh, well, I had a lot of reasons, but my family's really poor. My classmates were pretty much a bunch of boring turds, so I was like, who cares if I don't go to school? Well... My old man found out later and beat the crap out of me. Well, obviously a parent would be mad about that, but sometimes... But I sometimes got yelled at for ditching school events during elementary and middle school, too. Hey! My damn old man, he never... He knew better than anyone that we didn't have any money. <laughs> uh, we run a bike shop at my place, but seriously hard to sell bicycles these days. No customers we get now need a flat tire fix or air pump. <laughs> but yeah, despite that, I'm, I'm the genius mechanic of my family. I can take a look. At, look, I can take. I can take a look if a bike or car needs fixing and fix anything from kids' toys to household appliances. Wow, that's pretty amazing. Of course. Well, I've been surrounded by junk and tools ever since I was born, so I just have a habit of taking things apart and putting them back together. I see. So that's the environment the ultimate mechanic was raised in. Hey. My old man is just hopeless though, so I'm always the one who's helping out at the shop. In fact, to tell you the truth, I was already I was really excited when we first arrived at this island. Everyone here has pretty colorful personalities, but they all seem like interesting people. <laughs> I was really looking forward to enjoying my youthful days here. Until all this crap happened. Uh, Damn it. It's my dream, you know. I've always wanted to go on a trip with my friends and stuff. Man. Oh wait, we're not close enough yet to call each other friends, huh? I don't know when people suddenly decide they're friends or not, but since we seem to have the same goal, maybe we can at least call each other comrades? Mm. Comrades, huh? <laughs> <laughs> that sounds pretty awesome. Looking forward to working with you, comrade. Soda extended his hand and I gripped it. I tried to let go, but for some reason Soda was glaring at me and... So, Hinata, who are you aiming for? What are you talking about? You know, right? obvious? I'm talking about the ladies? Depending on your answer, an alarm clock in your room may be modified into a time bomb. If you have time to make it something like that, you should spend it actually being productive. It's pretty amazing that he's able to think about that kind of stuff by a time like this. But as funny as looks, Soda seems like a pretty normal guy. I learned a little bit about Soda today. Achoo! I sneezed out another freaking hope fragment. After Soda was finished hammering me the questions, I was finally released. Um, I don't know, let's go talk to Pico, I guess. Pico, Pico. <laughs> name is too fun. <laughs> Pico, Pico, Pico. Pico, Pico. Hey, Pico, where are you? Pico! Pico. Pico. Oh, Pico's here somewhere. Oh, wait, Pico's right there. Ah, well. Let's go knock the bagel. Bagel! Party, huh? I'm not that good with social events. What should I do? Should I hang out with Invite Peko to hang out. Yes. I have no reason to decline. Let's talk for a bit. <laughs> Peko. Spent time I like, talking to Peko to Peko over tea at the restaurant. I think Pico and I grew a little closer, but let's give a present. No, I don't have any presents. I start giving presents when I have presents to give. It's cool that we're hanging out, but we're not really talking about anything. Hey, Pico, do you like Kendo? Yes. Yes. Th this conversation isn't progressing. Um, is your house a Kendo dojo? Sort of. Sort of. However. Is there something wrong with that? N no, I was just wondering. 
That ghost stare is really intense. It might be best if I change the subject. Um, let's see. A topic that probably won't offend her too much. I know, Pekko. What level are you? Are you talking about my kendo level? I don't have one. Huh? Dojo trainees typically earn levels corresponding to the years of training. However, I have no need for that. Why? Don't people normally aim for that kind of achieve no. advancement? I have no such aim. My, destin my destination has already been decided. Protect who I must protect. Cut who I must cut. Down alone is the original purpose of the sword. Wielding a blade in its truest sense is my That's aim. So. That is my reason for existing. To achieve that, I have no use whatsoever for meaningless levels determined by arbitrary rules. I see. Peko isn't just a typical kendo athlete. She truly is the ultimate swordswoman. How could I ask such a foolish questions about levels? I don't really know much about kendo. But I think you're really cool. You're kind of like a samurai. What? Really cool? You say such strange things. No one has ever said that to me before. Um, well, the thing... Never mind. <laughs> Calling her cool made her blush! <laughs> Seems very awkward. Is she blessing? Blessing? However, because of the path I've chosen, there are things I've lost as well. Warm, irreplaceable things. What'd you lose? Fluffiness. Fluffiness? Yes. There are things that are warm, fluffy, and soft. The cat that came to visit the dojo of my childhood friend's dog, even the flinch, finch I had as a pet. Why? If all the animals can sense my menacing presence and run away from me. I just want to touch their soft fur and fluffy feathers to my heart's content. I see, that's really painful. What you need is a warrior dog. They can be fluffy, and they're not scared away by menacing vibes. I'm really surprised. I thought she was going to talk about an event from her past or something. Oh, then what? how about asking Gundam if you can touch his hamsters the next time you see him? He might be able to help you out. He probably knows a way to keep animals from running away from you. I see. I see. You do have a point. Also, since his hamsters are called the four dark divas of destruction, <laughs> they might not get scared of me and run away. I should look for Gundam right now. Her eyes look scary. I think Gundam's hamsters might actually freak out. Hey. Hinata, thank you for your advice. If you like, please come talk to me again. Goodbye. Well, I already approve of Peko. We're gonna talk to Peko more often. Unless she's the first to die, then we're not. Hope she doesn't die right away. Peko walked off in a hurry. She must really be desperate to touch something fluffy. But based on this, I feel like I was able to significantly close the distance between me and Peko. Next time I might be able to talk to her normally. A two. Got another hope fragment we sneezed out. Where the hell? Oh, I never checked the beach. There's supposed to be something there. I wonder if that's where Monomi's hiding out. Now we gotta do the party. Ahem! Hopes it is now. Please return to your rooms now, Ben. Sweet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nighttime announcement. Blah, 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 blah. Good night, he says. Whatever. I have a party to attend. Alright, time to go to the old building by the hotel. You look really serious. Oh my my! Oh, are you also here for the party? Why else would I be here? Anyway, what are you doing at a place like this? <laughs> I'm doing a little exercise so I can enjoy all the yummy food while we're gonna eat. I'm excited to eat Taro Taro's cooking. Yeah, especially since he's the ultimate cook. Yay, I dinged again. Hey, Peko. I let... Oh, I let Yakuza know about the party, but he didn't look too pleased about it. <laughs> it's about time for the party, him. I'm really excited. Uh, I'll do my best to not be in the way, so it's fine if I stay here, right? Are you really worried about something like that? Aww. Yes. Okay, again, I don't see how you can be the ultimate nurse when you're the most when you're the size person on the planet, but eh, don't worry. About it. It's in in the old ass building. So this is the old building. Compared to the hotel, it definitely looks worse for the wearer. You're here. Now then, stand up straight and raise your arms. Why do I have to do that? Because I need to do a body check. Body check? Because I'm the one hosting the party, it's necessary for me to take all possible security measures. Listen. I already promised I would not allow even one person to become a victim. I get it. And so reluctantly raise my arm and stood up straight. Bacula went ahead and thoroughly searched me, starting with my legs and working his way I up. See. It appears you have you haven't bought anything dangerous. Uh, of course I haven't. That's fine. Very well, I shall allow you to enter. Huh? It's at the moment that I noticed a strange item near where Bacula was standing. Metal cases. What? Do, do, do really do, I have no idea. I mean, actually, I found them at the supermarket. 
This one uses to store any damage items I find using body checks. The other one is for, well, let's just say it's for emergencies only. What do you mean emergencies? Stop talking. Don't worry about it. The others are already here, gathered at the dining hall at the back. Go there and wait. As soon as he said that, Bacula turned his back to me. I guess that's the end of our talk, but he's so cautious. I didn't expect him to perform a body check, and what did he mean by emergencies only? You know, you're better off not thinking of Oh, damn! That's not wear and tear of a picture. That's a picture that got fucking smashed. Gonna know that's there. Hop, 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 hop. Hop, 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 hop. Toilet. Hop, 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 hop. Nick Maro. There's a tantalizing aroma waiting from the orange kitchen. However, Bacula will yell at me if I don't go straight to the dining hall. You should head over there as well. Um. Dining hall. Whoa! Fuck, the metal plates are back. Oh god, the metal plates are back. So this is what the inside looks like. There are so many gaps in the wooden floor. Is that because it's so old? All right. I must tread carefully so my feet do not stumble. My adventurous heart is pounding with excitement. I guess when you're a princess, even little things seem exciting. Yep. I'm exploring. Old building storage room. There are a lot of shit in here. There's irons. Where are they used to pair the tablecloth? If so, why do you need three? I should... Head over to the dining hall. I don't like how dusty it is in here. I don't know. Got stuff in here. Stack boxes. And it. All in the laundry hamper. Yeah. Oh well. Don't want to spend too much time looking at shit. Up, up, up. Right. Up, up, up. Right. Up, up, up. Dining hall. Old building dining hall. Wow, it doesn't actually look half bad in here, despite the big-ass metal plates. Ah, <laughs> uh, Hinata, how do you like it? What do you mean? See, I decorated the whole dining hall for the party. I even laid out the carpet, too. Really? Even the carpet? Yep. yep. I bought it from the supermar supermarket. That place sure does seem to have everything. <laughs> I actually wanted to cover the whole floor, but I guess the carpet wasn't big enough. <sighs> There's a lot of dust and cobwebs all over the place, too. It took me all day to clean a dining hall just because of that. There's no way I could handle being stuck cleaning the whole day. You're commendable, Nagito. Thanks. <laughs> oh, God, I don't remember how to pronounce your name at all. Yeah, thanks. Everyone else, I got something like call them, like you and call bitch because of your fucking attitude. <laughs> uh, I guess we just start from the left and keep on talking to people. But no. Uh, hey, what's up? It's pointless. She's completely focused on the food. Hi there, Soda. Man, that was so uncomfortable. Getting groped up thoroughly by a man, that was my worst nightmare. Oh, I mean the body check? Plus, he got super pissed and started yelling at me when he noticed I had a wrench with me. Seriously, how freaking annoying. It's your fault for having a wrench in the first place. I just happened to find out at the airport. Carrying around calls me down. But Bacula put in that Daryl... Fuck. Case of his. Aw, man. Instinct. Even though that man is a lowly worm, it appears his cooking skills are most impressive indeed. Nevertheless, even his food cannot stand against the gourmet cuisine of the multiverse. Oh, hi there, bitch. Whoa. That creep back of the rubbed his ham hands all over me and called it a body check. More like sexual harassment. That's not what it is. He did the same thing to the guys, too. <laughs> so, I feel like he was getting frisky while he was frisking me. Uh-huh. I'm pretty in demand, you know. Not really. You're just kidding. You're not in demand at all amongst the people here. I'm worried about Monokuma showing up. If he finds out we're having a party, there's no way he'll leave us alone. So... We gotta do something about it. You're right. We should do something. Super I wonder difficult. if someone could do something about it. Mm, I wonder. Mm. I wonder. So we're on the same page, and I'm not sure I understand. I think he knows, given the fucking camera. So he still has influence here. Hmm. This whole place sure is run down. I feel bad Nagato went to all this trouble cleaning it. Even cleaning has its limits. See, check out the floorboards. Maybe the wood shrink because of the deterioration? Don't these openings seem dangerous to you? You're right. Aww. Well, the carpet is spread out enough to cover most of the floor, so I guess it won't be that big of a deal. Hey. But 
it might be best to tell Mike and to be careful. Yeah, she is the type to trip over nothing. <laughs> Even though it took the entire day to clean this all, I'm glad everyone's so happy. There's a lot of tasty looking party dishes. Meat, fish, it's all here. Okay. I'm apparently missing something. I am missing something. And I'm not entirely sure what it is. Iron plates? That reminds me. I saw some similar looking iron plates in the hallway too. But why are there iron plates bolted into the walls? So all this is not what it appears to be. Huh? Stay back. One of my 4D was Supernova Silver Fox, Sendy. I see what lies shrouded amidst the darkness. Though that iron plate appears to be bolted onto the wall, it's actually bolted over what's known as a window. Window? Let me tell you. There are this. no windows in this dining hall at all. I assume those iron plates are covering them. But why are iron plates covering the windows? Sendy, it appears your fur is rustling more than usual today. Hey, why are iron plates covering the windows? Let's make it Such a strange. fine day. Countless lives gasp their first breath. And countless more go away. Of all flesh. Go the way of that. What the hell? I guess he doesn't know. Well, this building is in the middle of a renovation, so I guess there might be something to do with it, but this place shares a creepy atmosphere because of that. Suddenly, we heard the voice of the ultimate affluent prize in this ring throughout the hall. I've made you wait. Thank you for waiting. Hmm. Teru Teru is in the kitchen and it appears Yakuza did not come. I apologize. I apologize. I did inform him about the party, but. Jeez. It's not like you need to apologize, Beko. It's his fault for not coming. I explicitly stated that attendance was mandatory, but it's fine. Just one person is absent, that shouldn't pose a problem. He won't be able to do anything. Mm -hmm. What do you mean by that? What? More importantly. Come on. Hey, what is that? An intense expression spread across Backless' face as he looked at the table with various food dishes. Not impossible. Dangerous! As he stopped his way toward the table. Hey, what are you doing? You're hogging all the food! Not fair! No, I'm not! I don't care what you say, you're totally pigging out! I'm telling you, I'm not... Look carefully at this dish. It looks like delicious roasted meat! And just what is stabbed into this roasted meat? Mm -hmm. It's an iron skewer. That's right. This iron skewer is definitely a dangerous item. I must take full responsibility and collect it. So would you take the food off the skewer? Hello there. Hey, looks like everyone's here. I should go ahead and bring out the rest of that. Huh? Oh, some mess eater ruined my arrangement. <laughs> Who made this dish? Um, that, that would be me, but um, are you a food critic? What are you thinking? What are you plotting? Cooking with such dangerous items. No, 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 no. It's dangerous. No, no, no. That's churrasco. It's a South American meal where you stab meat with an ice skewer to cook mm -hmm. it. It felt really tropical and exotic, so I thought it would totally fit the party's atmosphere. <laughs> These iron skewers are a problem. Why? Iron skewers aren't allowed either. If that's how you're acting, then there might be more skewers than just these. Let's go. Hey, Hinata, come with me. I need your help. Man. Dude, there's too many people. Anyone stabs someone with an iron skewer here, everyone's gonna know they killed the person. It's your fault for standing right in front of them. My condolences. Yeah, I'm screwed. Beckless face bore an intense expression as I ironically followed him into the dining out of the dining hall. Let's go. Alright, this is the kitchen. We are thoroughly expected to make sure there are no dangerous items. Thoroughly, huh? Bacula stepped into the kitchen, and I followed after him. Man, this kitchen is worn down. Listen. Let's get the, uh, get with it. Search this place thoroughly. As he issued that order, Bacula began searching the whole kitchen from one to the other. Hmm. Look, I found these. There are forks and knives on that shelf. Don't tell me those two. Naturally. These are definitely dangerous items. If you're just eating chopsticks, are enough. After he said that, Bakula threw the forks and knives into the drilling case one after another. You're being very thorough about this. <sighs> Chinese, Japanese, French, Italian cuisine, seafood dishes too. There's even a huge piece of meat on the bone. That Tiro Tiro is sure got fired up. I don't even know if I'd be able to eat that much food. See. It sees there are no dangerous items like a skewer in a, in a casserole earlier inside that pile of food. That appears to be the case. Ew, I wouldn't have known what to do if he said fish bones and meat bones were also dangerous items. He is going overboard. There appears to be various types of knives, but these... What? Oh, the question. Knives are far too dangerous. Hand them over to me, I'll safeguard them. Beckley grabbed the knife from my hand and threw it into a darling case with the rest, of course. 
And this paper is... I see. I see. It appears to be an equipment list for the kitchen. 20 forks, 20 knives, 20 spoons, 5 hour skewers, 3 frying pans, 2 wine glasses. There are also iron plates for barbecue and even a portable stove for cooking hot spots. <laughs> iron plates and a portable stove, I do recall seeing them on the shelf over there. This kitchen seems to be well kept. There should be no problems using it. Though the building is old, the kitchen is impressive. Compared to a normal restaurant, it's not too shabby. Very strange. What's strange? One of the items on this list seems to be short by one. Hey, it's necessary to go this far. I'm doing this because it's necessary. And to fulfill the promise I made. Y yeah, but you're taking it out of hand here. What? Is that all? What do you mean? Well, I'm just assuming, but I think something must have happened to you. After all, you decided to throw a party so suddenly. I can't help but think there's a reason for that. Hmm. That's not it. I've been distrust. I've been a trustful person for as long as I can remember. Distrustful person? I don't really like to talk about my past, but it's fine. I'll just tell you a little bit of it. I cannot talk to others about my past. I suspect that my skeptical nature is partly to blame. Bakula has a past he can't talk about? Hmm. His trust in others and being distrusted in turn for a long time in life has been a living hell. It was inevitable that I would end up this way. <laughs> but in this kind of situation, my skeptical nature might be of good use. If we were to survive here, skepticism is necessary at all costs. By the way, that past you mentioned, That's enough. now is not the time. However, one day, there will definitely be a time when I'll be able to tell you about it. Hmm. If nothing happens and time passes for us peacefully, I will have no choice but to talk. That sounded pretty deep. I sort of feel like things are even more mysterious now because he hasn't told me the whole story. This guy might have a deep mystery hidden him within him, deeper than I thought he'd have. Silly hey, talk. enough of that unnecessary banter. You better hurry and find the rest of those dangerous items. Yeah, got it. Even so, he sure works hard. That's probably more in line with his actual personality, I bet. Huh? Huh? Why? But the kitchen's a mess. What happened here? Stop talking. Don't raise your annoying voice. I just remove all the dangerous items. Huh? But there are no knives or forks. Why? How come? Don't make me repeat. I literally myself. just said that I remove all the dangerous items. You're kidding. Don't tell right? me. You're treating cooking utensils like dangerous items. No, 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 no. Well, no, no, most no. dishes are finished. All you gotta do is arrange the plates, so it's not a problem, but. But still. Ah, uh, Inada! Stop it. Get off of me. Not that sort of thing. Well, that's a little depressing. Trust me. I'm the one who's depressed here. Hey, before you start getting all flirty, explain this. I checked the equipment list, and there seems to be one iron skewer missing. Ah, uh, that's right. As far as I know, there's been missing from the start. No matter how clean this place gets, stuff is still bound to go missing in an old building, right? If it's been missing all along, we can't really do anything about it, right? <laughs> right, there's no place to hide such a long skewer anyway. Very well, I need to keep a watchful eye. Don't tell me you plan to keep a watchful eye all night long. Let's go. Alright, let's go back. The others should be waiting for us. Ah. Uh. Don't die at all now. Okay. Jeez, he's such a pushy leader. He definitely went overboard. Ah, uh, oh, they're finally back. Hey, hey! Hey, let's eat already. I'm starving. Hmm. Still an issue we need to address first. Lies. Ah, an issue. All right. Well, who do I gotta beat the crap out of? Just say the word and I'll do it for you. That's enough. That won't be necessary. The issue is, is we're to safeguard this Darlene case. That's all the confiscated dangerous items. Huh? Can't we just leave it here? Hmm. I already put a lock on the case, so it shouldn't be a problem, but we should definitely put up the secure put up the security and keep it in some place safe. Um some place safe. Oh, there's a storage room at the back of this old building. I see. A storage room, huh? Even so we can't leave the case alone in there. Then, then someone should guard it. That would keep it safe, yes? Aww. Uh hoo hoo. I'll do it, of course. Uh, uh, are you <laughs> sure? I guess if you says just kidding. Aww. But you'll really? be lonely there by yourself. I don't mind. I don't mind. I'm really not that good in situations where I have to be around lots of people anyway. <laughs> <laughs> If I wrote a song about this, the title would definitely be Lonely Girl in the Storage Room. However... However, Taro Taro has gone through trouble with cooking. Is it alright for me to bring some of it with me? Okay! Yeah, that's totally but. fine. But if you're going to be the guard duty anyway, it might be better if you avoid the storage room. Why is that? Well, not only is the storage room packed with lots of stuff, it's hard to see in there full of cobwebs. I was so busy cleaning the dining hall that I didn't have time to clean the storage room. If you stayed in here for a long time, I think it would be bad for your health. I see. In that case, why don't you guard it in the office? If I recall correctly, there's also a circuit break in there, too. It would be a good idea to guard that as well. Yep. Yeah, the office sounds fine. I'm pretty sure it's not that dirty, either. Understood. Understood. So I need to be on guard duty at the office. Then I should get going. Have fun tonight, everyone. Taking with her the Darlim case and a plate pile of food, Pecco left the dining hall. I see. Well, seeing I Pecco's see. back as she walks away it makes me feel like she's got this super cool, melancholy vibe. Huh? But shouldn't she have taken the other case with her, too? <laughs> this? No, this case is fine. That's weird. Uh, no fair. You're like the only one who gets to bring their own stuff. Naturally. 
When you're as special as me, you get special privileges. <laughs> when you put it that way, it's hard to argue with Listen. you. This Nerlium case stays with me at all times. I put the key to the other case in here as well. I'll take full responsibility for watching over it. There's no way I can let anyone else handle this matter. <sighs> More importantly, well done now, right? Let's start the party. Stop talking. No, there's still more. I'm gonna ah, who do you want me to beat up crap out of? Hurry up and tell me already! Seriously, it has nothing to do with that. <laughs> Actually, if you're volunteering, I do have one particular nuisance in mind. Huh? Are you talking That's about... Right. Monokuma, of course. He's the one thing that could possibly disrupt this party. Alright, so, so if you'll let me eat it... You'll let me eat if I beat the crap out of Monokuma, right? Hold on! Wait a sec, if you actually pick a fight with that thing, you're probably just gonna end up perforated. Move! Are you telling me to wait till I starve to death? Hey! Start of that's a little extreme. <laughs> our opponent is not someone who can just fight. Rather, it's better if we use our he our heads and think of a plan. Hey, hey. I'll do something about it. What? Do something, you. Hey, hey. Hey, now. What can a girl like you do? You're just gonna put yourself in danger. Nope. I won't. It's not like I'll personally do something. You won't. <laughs> you intend to utilize Monomi. Yep. Yeah, if I can talk to her into helping us. She might be able to keep Monokuma at bay. At least that's what I think. Uh. That's probably a good idea. She looks like the type that eas that's easily manipulated. Oh! Plus, Monomi and Monokuma totally have a rivalry going on. <laughs> What's well, a pretty one-sided rivalry? Are you okay? But will you really be okay? Nami, I still think it's dangerous. It's gonna be fine. I'll be fine. If things get dangerous, I'll just run away as fast as I can. Well, then I'll be going now. What is this feeling? I feel somewhat uneasy. It's not like I have a bad feeling about this, but something feels off. <sighs> so it's all seller right, then we can... Then can we, you're right. Let's begin. <laughs> all right! Fine. Yeah, so the banquet has finally commenced. <laughs> you better keep me entertained. Jesus. And with that, the party started. Now that I think about it, I still don't understand why we were having the party in the first place. But whatever. Whatever the reason, everyone seems to be having fun. Hey, are we good? Can I finally eat? You're already eating! <laughs> I, I can't stop! <laughs> I can't stop my hands from shoving food in my face! Well, of course you can't stop. These are the world's tastiest party dishes, after all. No matter how full you feel, you can't help but continue eating such exquisite delicacies. That is what I cook, the world's tastiest dishes. That's rather scary. You're not eating? Then I'm gonna eat all this by myself! I'll make lots more in the kitchen, and then I'll bring it all out here, okay? Hey everyone, while we're at it, why don't I take pictures for you guys? Wow, that sounds wonderful. Please do! This feels weird. When I first came to this island, watching everyone have fun was so frustrating. But now it feels reassuring. We're actually friends who fight together. Friends who've developed a sense of unity. Mm. Uh, hey, Nikamaro, did something happen? The party's just started, but... I must return to my cottage. Come on. Don't be foolish. I won't allow such selfless actions. Don't stop Don't me. stop me, Bakula. There comes a time when a man knows he's gotta go. If I don't go now, it'd be a shame. it would shame me as a man. Sure. Shitting my parents. <laughs> <laughs> Shitting my parents would totally shame me as a man. So he was talking about the toilet. What? He need to use the bathroom. There's one in this old building. Why do you need to go back to your cottage? I have been trying to use it many times, but the door just won't open at all. What? What is this blasphemy? What now? Impossible. My hellhound earring. It disappeared. Did it vanish into subspace? Calm down, you probably just dropped it somewhere. Sure. Oh shit! I'm gonna shit! Quiet. <laughs> Shut up, don't you dare. Hey, is it really alright if I eat all of this? Don't be an idiot, make sure you leave some for come me. On. Hey, Bacula, everyone, come on. I'm gonna take say a picture. Alright, say cheese! Snap. Hey, why can't you all act a little more mature? What? Hmm? What was that sound just now? Huh? It's dark all of a sudden. <gasps> Uh, it's, it's a blackout. A blackout. Uh, a blackout. Hey, I can't see anything. In that instant, as we stumbled around the darkness, our field swelled up like a flood. It's pitch black. My future is pitch black. 
and some of the screams of frightened footsteps rang throughout the dark dining hall, or were immediately swallowed up by another sound. Everyone, calm down! We gotta stay calm in a situation like this! Ah! Don't step on my feet! What the hell? What's going on here? Because the windows were entirely covered, the black the blackout surrounded us with complete darkness. Bleak darkness there for no matter how long I wait, there's no way my eyes will adjust. <laughs> this is... Ow! Turn the damn lights on! I can't eat like this, you know! You guys? Where are you? W wasn't the blackout just in the kitchen? Perhaps the breaker overloaded? Hold on a sec. I'll go along the wall and do something about it. In the darkness, we finally waited to be released from our fear. We actually waited, and after a while, it finally... Zap. Ah. At that moment, when the lights at the dining hall finally turned back on, I saw a scene unfolded before our eyes. <coughs> that is, McKean's appearance had been compromised. What the hell? Oh, I'm sorry! I again. That doesn't look like a trip! Seriously? What the fuck is this? How do you trip and land like that? moment. No! Please don't! Please don't look at me! <laughs> I can't take this at all! My room! It's time to snatch some shots! <laughs> there, there's no way I can do that! <laughs> Please forgive me! Just forgive me already! Everyone, I think it would be best if we help her already. How the hell do you do that? Aren't you supposed to be ultimate nurse? Again, I'm confused. Oh god. I'm terribly sorry, sorry. for the trouble. So sorry. Hey. Yeah, from now on, just be careful. Huh? Oh, I'm glad. The lights are back on here, too. Yay! So you're the one who fixed the breaker, Soda. You're usually... You're, you were unusually useful this time. Hey. Well, no, I couldn't find my way to the office with the circuit breaker. Huh? Uh, then why are the lights back on? <laughs> who knows? What? Are you Don't stupid? who knows me. You're so useless. <laughs> Ah, it's not my fault, you know. There's no way I could have found my way to the office in that darkness. Oh my! Oh my! What happened? Sonia, did something happen? Um... No, Bacula is missing. Did he go somewhere? Huh? It, Bacula? How could you not notice him leaving? We immediately looked around the dining hall. Sure enough, Bacula, who promised he would lead us in situations like this, was nowhere to be found. Huh? That's weird. He was here earlier, right? Um... Did he run off somewhere during the blackout? In that pitch blackness? Hey. I'm a little worried we should split up and go look for him. I look in the storage room, so I can ask you to check the entrance. Inata? Yeah, I got it. For now. And I guess I'll go look in the office. Then... I should go look around the hallway. <laughs> I'll wait here since we're kinda in the middle of eating anyway. She's still gonna eat while this is going on? Mm. I must bathroom! Sure. I must man up and check the bathroom! I don't understand this man up Jeez. thing. Jeez, Mr. Ham Hands ran away just because there's an itty bitty blackout? <laughs> Such a shameful leader. If I find him, I'm gonna finger flick him in the face as punishment. Even so, where did Pacula go? Um, I believe I have to go check the entrance. I'm pretty sure... the Nami was there. That is the bathroom. Or maybe it's not? No, that's storage. Fuck, I have no idea how to navigate this stupid hotel thing. Well, I guess it is this way. That's right, bathroom was near the entrance. Office there. Um... I've searched the hallway, but there's no sign of Bacula. Where'd he go? Is he outside? I haven't looked yet. I'll go check. <laughs> Nanami and Monami are standing in front of the entrance. I guess they're watching for help from Monokuma. Uh huh? huh? You know, what about the party? <laughs> it's not done yet. I haven't even joined in yet. Hey, Nanami, did you happen to see Bacula pass by here? Nope. Bacula? Nope, I didn't. But what happened to Bacula? There was a sudden blackout inside the old building, and Bacula vanished during that time. So we thought we might have gone outside, but... Nope, nobody came out. If nobody came out, does that mean he's still inside? If that's the case, we must have... We, mu we might have missed each other. I think. That's what I think. Hey. Uh, Hinata, how'd it go? Oh, and I talked to... Oh, right, he's talking to me. Well, when I, when I talked to Nanami, she said he didn't go outside. That's... That's weird. No one else was inside the storage room, either. Mm. He wasn't in the kitchen, obviously. Mm. No 
one was in the office. Nobody was in the office. That's weird. Huh? What about Peko? I thought she was supposed to be guarding that area. Hey. Well, actually, not even Peko was there. Huh? Yeah, Peko's gone too. Hmm. Maybe those two took advantage of the blackout to have themselves a major makeout session in the bathroom. Well done. Truly, truly outrageous. Um, hmm. Um, Did something happen again? Well, damn you! Smell something? Well, well partially digested food is absorbed by the smell in small intestines, decomposed by bacteria, releasing gas, which is mostly absorbed in the intestinal tract. But whatever cannot be absorbed is ext excreted from the anus. Yes. Th th those are the mechanics of farting, but farting isn't something to be embarrassed about. It's not like that. No, I'm not talking about that. Wait. It smells like blood. Blood. Mm. That's one hell of a nose you got. And Nutkane's nose twitched like a beast. He suddenly pointed. <laughs> it's coming from over there. I tabled the very back of the dining hall. Smell of blood? What in the world is, is at that table? It's under there. Under the table? I dashed toward the table and took grease up toward the tablecloth and then I stopped. Is this nervous this fear? Why, why am I nervous? It can't be. It obviously can't be. There's no way that's gonna happen. I shout, I grabbed the tablecloth and flipped it back in one go. Oh, look, Bacula's dead. For the rest of my life, I never forgot what I saw. What I saw. I saw the ultimate absolute progeny, Bacula Tugami, already dead and beyond recognition. Well, I didn't actually think they were going to kill him right away. Move that plate. What plate? What plate? What plate did I miss five minutes ago? Bacula? Why is Bacula? Oh, there's a reason I'm calling him Bacula in case you don't know. It's because I hate him. I hated him in the first one, too. No. No. Okay, Jesus. I just stood there. Horrified, a shower of screams rang out behind me as I gazed quietly at the body of my former friend. Yeah, a little early calling each other friends, isn't it? Why? What is that? How do you say shit? Hey, 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 hey! Th this is impossible. Are you kidding Don't me? mess with me. This must be kind of some kind of steak. Yeah? This can't be real blood, right? This gotta be something like jam or sauce. Because if not, then this. What the hell? Good gracious! Things quickly took a turn for the worse. Yeah! My. My mind, now this is interesting. Wow, On this wow, tropical wow, paradise known as Jabberwock Island, the very first murder has finally taken place. Murder? Could it be? Oh, hold on, does this mean. <laughs> of course. That's right! Bracket was killed by one of you. What? Of course! We took out the body. If you look at the body, you can tell instantly he was obviously murdered. <laughs> look, he has such a horrible expression on his face, don't you think? A face filled with regret that was his life was ended by force, all thanks to someone else's selfish desires. If a dying face such as this, if this isn't murder, then what the heck could it be? Hmm. Bacula was most likely sacrificed by someone who really wanted to leave this island. Lies. It's all lies. You're lying that he was murdered. Murdered? The moment I screamed that word, a thick, muddy feeling of despair swelled within my body. Which means that, they have accepted the fact that Bacula was murdered. What is this? What is this? C could it be? Uh, really? Bacula? Why? Why? Why did this happen? Why Bacula? Because Bacula's an asshole. I see, I see. It, it appears is the only one who isn't here. What are you gonna so do? So in the spirit of keeping everyone on the same page, how about we do this the usual way? A body has been discovered! Now then, after a certain amount of time has passed, the class trial will begin! Remove what? Oh wait, I think you know what I'm talking about now. Now that I remember that scene. <clears throat> Class trial. Hey, I've um... already explained this to you, right? If one of you gets murdered, the rest of you have to debate who you think is the blackened. You're telling us to figure out who the killer Correct. is. That's right. From this point on, you guys must investigate and uncover the blackened culprit. That's impossible. It can't be someone actually killed. There's no way. <laughs> if you make an outburst like that, you'll end up being a suspect. That's. Uh, I won't believe it. One of us killed Bacula. There's no way something as hopeless as that would ever happen. No, no, no. If you're actually thinking that way, it means you guys are already being conned by the killer. Yeah. <laughs> come on, come on, let's hurry up and begin. 
an impassioned life risking power between you guys and the Blacken, and it's already started. It started the moment one of you plotted to kill someone. Hey, what are you saying? Hey, everyone, please, you cannot, you should not believe what Monokuma says. No matter how much you interfere, there's only, oh, there's only ever one truth. On my grandfather's name. You have a grandpa? On my grandfather's grave. Grave? Your grandpa's dead? What happened to him? On my grandfather's plane? Emergency! What happened to your grandpa? Did his plane crash? I don't even know where to begin at this rate. You ain't my comedy partner anymore. Ah! It hurts so much when you hit me with a charging corkscrew attack. You see that? This stunning display of power? To fly your big brother and I will show you no mercy. Of a heart in my heart, and teach you a lesson you won't soon forget. Uh, if only I had my magic stick, I'd be able to fight back against Monokuma. Fine, fine. Yeah, whatever. You'll just leave the whiny rabbit loser alone and get on with the investigation. Now then, in the spirit of lovely, de of lovely doubt and lovely deception, put your heart and soul into investigating. Yeah! Yahoo! I wish you the best of luck, and off he goes. With that, Monokuma vanished, leaving those of us who were grief-stricken alone with our despair. Which. Is this? Does this mean it? I... I don't understand this at all. Oh. I searched for back to this killer. Why did it turn out like this? What's going on? Uh, give me a break. Why do I have to be involved in this horrible situation? Um... um you can't doubt each other, because you're all friends. Understand? But Mr. Hamhands really did get killed, right? If we don't find out who the killer is, we're all gonna get killed, right? Wait. That being said, I cannot abide by this. Now that i finally made friends, there's no way I can doubt them. Seriously, do you listen to what I to what I said? It doesn't matter if you can abide by this or not. We gotta do this to survive, right? Then we have no choice but to do it. No, you. friends doubting friends is a major no-no. Shut up! Shut, uh, up. shut up! Just go away already! You useless piece of trash! Oh, uh, Threats are scary. Do we really have to do it? No, I don't want to do something like that. No. Back forth, back forth. I don't want to do it either. It sounds so scary. However, however, it, it is just as. I don't... It's just as Hyoko said. If we're going to get killed for not doing it, then we must do it. But still, I can't believe one of us killed Bakula. Oh, there's a fucking corpse over there! There's no way I can believe it. There's no way. It, right there. It's right there. It, so for that reason... Yep. I'll do it. I'll investigate Bakula's death. I'll do my best to prove there is no killer among us. There's no need to deceive or doubt each other. What we need to do is... What we need to fight is not ourselves. There's no mistake. But that which is trying to crush us. This despair. Let's hope it's reality. That's the real enemy we need to fight. If I'm gonna survive this, then I have to fight it. Um, uh, before you start, can I say something? Well? In closed circle detective games, the player usually has to decide on who's gonna guard the crime scene. What should we do? I know! Oh yeah, it would be bad if the killer destroyed the evidence and got away with it. <laughs> destroy the evidence? Pointing. Look over there! That big, bulky, brawny guy is perfect for the guard job. <laughs> oh! <laughs> What the heck? What happened? Man. That guy, he has a sensitive heart despite his looks. Is that what that means? Hey. Um, I could be the one who watches the crime scene. I don't have enough confidence to investigate the body, and it's not like I have the brains either. I'll just stay by back of the side. That's the least I can do. That's what guard duty is, right? Uh, 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 I'll do my best. I'll do my very best. Did not get in your way. I'll, I'll have medical training, so if it's not too much trouble, I can form an autopsy, please. Um. So you're gonna stay as well? Is that okay? <laughs> <laughs> what specifically should we be doing now? I have no idea. It's pretty obvious. We all, we're all just amateurs. Going through each grain of sand on the beach just to find a clue would be a waste of time. The only ones who can do that are the police. There's no way amateurs like us would be able to do that. Hey. So let's first rely on our intuition. We'll start from there and prove that none of us could have been killed. Could have been Bakula. But to perform an autopsy on your friend, how cruel. <laughs> But I have no choice, right? There's no way I could do something like decline, right? I won't believe. I won't believe. Believe it. Bakula got killed. I don't believe that at all. Ah, uh, that's fine. I'm in. You are right. If we're to survive, this is our only path. This is the worst. Something like this is the only thing we can do in order to stay alive. Can you stop with the exposition shit so I can, you know, save this and stop because it's like 603? Find out who the killer is. That's the only hope for survival. Something like this is hope? Even so, I still gotta do it. And investigate. Oh, fuck! You know, you thought it was time for investigation, but the Monokuma file. Whoa, that looks way different from last time. Hey, hey! 
Hey! Just a thought, you don't just need this, right? What the hell is a Monokuma file? Jeez, explaining the rules all the time really breaks my bones. Well, it's not like I have bones in the first place. Look, don't even make me say such lame jokes. Allow me to explain! Let's see, the Monokuma file contains precise and detailed information regarding the dead body. What? I brought it to you so you guys can smoothly proceed with the investigation. I'm such a nice guy. I'm so nice, I want to be known as Mother Teresa of the mascot world. Hey, hey. Nice, you say. You're just a selfish meanie. What's this? But my mind, we know me the meaningless, the meaningless mascot. You're still here? You Don't put me in the meaningless mascot genre. Come on, let's go. Your turn is already up. Hurry up and get the hell out of here with me. <laughs> oh, gee, don't pull my ears. They're going to come off. They're finally gone. The Monokuma file, huh? And I guess you should look it over just in case. Okay, nerd. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. We'll stop right here at that gruesome image. So with that, uh, goodbye and see you all next time.